My people, Stardew Valley's smartest player, my friend Blade, came up with 20 trivia questions to test your knowledge on Stardew Valley. He put them together in a cahoot and over 300 people are competing to see who knows the most. Let's get into it. Blade. Morning. Dude, what is up? Welcome. Thank you for uh, for doing this. This is super cool and I'm very scared. <laughs> That is exactly what I want to hear. <laughs> you have such a good evil laugh. So I'm actually just a participant for the people that don't know. Blade designed all of these questions himself and I will be playing along at home. The breakdown is going to be $100 for first place, $50 for second place, $25 for third place, and $10 for fourth and fifth place. All right, Blade, tell us about this Kahoot, my guy. So yes, I've seen the Kahoots on your channel before and I thought these questions are too easy. <laughs> Okay, I think maybe some people would disagree with you. I've riled some people up in the past for my cahoots, so. You've made it more even mm -hmm. by getting some information wrong. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, okay. There's gonna be questions about some game mechanics and maybe some questions about probability of things, but there shouldn't be anything in there that you need to know how to read the code or have to explore the code for. All right, easy enough. Well, I, uh, I'm i locking it right now. We're locking it in at 368 people and uh, I'm, I'm one of those participants. All right, man, let's get into it. I'm scared. You just read the question out loud for all of us. Here we go. Question one, what floor do red bats start appearing in Skull Caverns? You can see a picture of the bats that are red up there. Oh my god, my, that was a straight guess for me right there. Oh. Red bats, they are buffed iridium bats. So bats normally have a base speed of three, but these red bats have a base speed of eight, and they start appearing on floor 880. And I got that right, dude. Do not ask me what, like how, but I got that one correct. Oh God, I've never even seen that before. How is there still yeah, stuff yeah. in this game that like I haven't seen before? That's crazy. Oh, Habu got it. Habu got it. Blue Banjo's up there as well. A couple other good people in the top five right here. Well, uh immediately just like didn't know the first one. It was a straight guess. So I'm scared for my well-being for the future questions. <laughs> Level 880, right, that's wild. What floor layout is this? 12, 28, 33, or 38? Oh, I'm an idiot. I just, oh my God. Okay, I didn't understand that. <laughs> that's like what level in the mines is that? I just typed 12. Oh, dude, I'm so stupid. Well, it's not that 12, yeah. 28. Oh my God, I should have known. Well, I should I literally picked the one that I know it isn't. So, gotcha. 28, that big one though. I've, if you've seen the mines enough times, you'd probably know that. Like Habu, who moves into second place now because he's seen the mines so often. <laughs> All right, I fell down to 78. That kind of hurts. Let's keep her going. All right, next one. Which of the following does luck buff, which is food or luck rings, not affect? Getting fishing chests, harvesting extra crops, spawning ore clumps, or receiving lightning strikes? Oh, that's that's so wrong. I just got it wrong. I put Did spawning ore clumps and that's yeah, dude. Luck buff. Is it receiving lightning strikes? It's probably that, right? Oh, I got it right, dude. I didn't you deserve that. Right. All. I so didn't deserve that. I'm getting so lucky. Daily luck oh, affects yeah. all of these, but luck buff affects all of them except for spawning ore clumps. Dude, I made a video on that, but that was in like April, man. It's been too long. Yeah, even receiving um, lightning strikes. That's the surprising one to me. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, you get an extra 1% per luck point in lightning strikes every 10 minutes. Wow, very nice. Okay, let's keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going. How much mining XP does finding a coal and an ore from a regular rock give? Zero, five, 10, or 15? Uh, I put 10, but it's probably five, right? I don't know. It's weird because you get experience for breaking the rock, but I don't know how much experience you get. So when you're in the mines, breaking any of these regular rocks normally give you <sighs> zero XP, but finding an ore or an ore and a coal will give you five XP. Dang, I choked that. How high are you in the list there, Z? I'm 78th out of 350. Uh, these are brutal, but they're fair. Like, seriously, like, Habu's not getting this right by luck. Like, he, and there's Cordite, too. Like, they, these guys do mm -hmm. know this. All right, question five. What is the chance of getting at least four potatoes when harvesting one plant? I think I know this. 20%. 4%, 0.8%, or 0.016%. So I, I think 100% chance of getting the base one, and then it's a 2% chance of getting another potato after that every time. Dang it! Not, not, not 2%. Right? What is 20 it? 20%. 20%. Oh, so it's 20% of 20% of 20% yes. is 0.8%. Yep. Dang it, dude. I literally, I did that. And that's where you got 0 0.016 from, right? Yeah. Or like that's off. Dang it. Oh, I should have known. I didn't know it was 20%. I thought it was two. Oh, there's, there's been a shuffle at the top. There has been. It's all the sweats just trading back and forth in the top five, man. Meanwhile, I'm on 141st place. Gordon Habu, uh, Nick, Nick there. Dude, that's L crazy. Literally the same number. Oh yeah, jeez. <laughs> 
All right, let's uh, let's keep it going. Question six. How much farming XP does harvesting an ancient fruit give? 25, 38, 69, or zero? Dude, I, I have no sense of scale for XP because I never do stuff with this. I would have expected it to be less, but I put 38. I, I don't know. You put 38? Yeah. Yay! I like the way you said that. I actually would have thought it would be a little lower, but 25 felt like too nice of a number, you know? I knew it wasn't zero, but oh, wow. Good, good, good thinking there. How have the questions been so far? Uh, tough, but fair, honestly. Like, I th think That's Cord good. and Habu are good examples of like, if you know this game super well, you'll know these questions. All right, question seven. How many days does a melon seed planted with agriculturalist and hyper speed grow take to grow? Six, seven, eight, or nine. I put seven. So hyper speed grow and agriculturalist will give you a 43% faster rounded up. Is it 12 days for the base melon? 12 days for a base 12. melon. 12, did I do the math right? I didn't do the math right. I put seven, dude. It's rounded. I didn't do the math it quick rounds. enough. Yep. I know Six all that, but then it's, dang it, dude. It's so hard to do it so fast. Very nice. Habu oh, there's been another now. shuffle. Oh, it cords out of the top five. Oh no. All right, what do we got next? Question three, or er, no, question eight. <laughs> Question eight. What is the chance of getting two items when picking up forage with botanist? One half, one quarter, one fifth, or zero? All right, I answered that quick. I think other people are gonna get this too. So I think botanist makes everything that you forage iridium quality. Am I crazy? Yes, but, you, you picked up on that. But does it, I don't think it gives you an extra chance, does it? I'm an idiot, okay. <laughs> I've never used that. I've never used this, that one. This is a trick question. So you, you picked up that it's not gatherer. Gatherer is the one that gives you the extra chance. Botanist makes everything iridium. Yes, correct. So you think, okay, botanist, zero percent. We don't have gatherer. You have to choose gatherer to get to botanist. Oh my God, you stink. You stink it, of foul <laughs> evil. Dang, that's that's, that's a vicious way to ask that though. <laughs> Initially, my answer for this was zero until I realized the exact same thing. I'm in 137th. I'm getting all these wrong and I'm barely moving. So I don't think many people are getting these right. All right, I'm like right. right in the middle of the pack. Almost halfway through question nine. Question nine. How much hardwood do you get by chopping all the large dumps and logs on the beach farm. You stinker. You know this from the Stardew Valley Cup. I know this from and the Stardew Valley read, Cup. And I read you telling your team how many it is. And I don't know if I remember it anymore. I put 150 because that number sounds familiar to me from the cup. But like, I don't remember. It might be 180. I think it's an even number. Oh, it's 150, dude. Oh. 150. Oh, only 35 got that. Oh. So there are 31 stumps and 11 logs. Uh, so dude. you get 62 hardwood from stumps and 88 from logs. 150 in total. I, I literally only remember that from you telling the rest of your team that number. Nice. All right. Well, I moved up some. I'm in 62nd now. I don't think anyone in the top five. Did anyone get that right except for Zolomly? No. Wow. Zolomly moved into the top five there. You can tell Cord and Habu were not on your team for that. Okay, here we go. Question 10. What season does Penny not tutor Jazz and Vincent? Spring, oh, summer, dude. fall, or winter? Okay, I just... It's gotta be summer, like, based on the way school works, but I'm sure if this is a trick question. I started putting winter, but I don't know why. And then I was like... Ugh. Summer is when there's no school. This one is easy to come up for the answers for. Oh, for oh yeah. Summer. Dude, thank God I switched that. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, that makes sense. That's when there's there would be no school. I know that from routing Penny for a speed run. Oh, that's a commanding lead by Habu at the moment. I'm in 36th right now, which I'm super proud of, but I am... 3,000 points behind first place still right now. So like I'm far away from top five. All right, here we go. Uh, question number 11. We're halfway through right now. Question 11. How many waters can you get out of a full basic watering can? 25, I, I, 40, 55, or 80? It's either 40 or 55. Cause I just did this like literally half an hour ago. I was planting 15 parsnips and I got two full days worth of watering out of them. And then I had a little bit of water left in my thing, but not enough to get all of them. 40. 40. Boom. Oh, I'll take that. I will gladly take that. Uh, Habu said Z please for that. I was so proud of myself for that. I had to use my brain and Habu's like, Zach, please don't get this easy question wrong. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I water until I'm out of water. You know how many waters I get out of a full watering can? It's like 27 because I try to animation cancel and I water the same plant eight times and then miss the last one 12 times. And Yeah. That sounds efficient. <laughs> All right, question 12. What day does Marnie have her annual checkup? Spring 18th, summer 18th, fall 18th, winter 18th. You're a stinker for this, dude. I'm putting winter. I know it's not fall because that's her birthday. Unless she goes to get a checkup on her birthday, but that would feel really weird to me. You are correct that fall 18th is her birthday. Does she go? What? Do they all go on their birthday? No. Just her? What is no. wrong with Marnie? She goes on her birthday. Fall 18th every year. Oh, 
Uh, dude, what? I was like, oh, he's picking this question because it's uh, they're they're gonna get confused and think it's a birth. I can't believe that. Good one, man. I fell from 26th to 46th off that. All right, I'm now 4,000 behind first place. Question Yikes. number. That is a commanding lead up there. What geotype contains Thunder Egg? Geode, Frozen Geode, Magma Geode, or Artifact Trove? Dude, I didn't even know what Thunder Egg was for a second. <laughs> that would have been a troll question. How many eggs are there in Stardew when you count this thing? I put Magma Geode. I thought it would have been good. I almost put <sighs> Omni Geode as number four. If I put Omni Geode, then of course it's an Omni Geode as well. Uh, I fell to 64th. It's just a regular Geode? You know, I think in my head I was like, that's so rare. I never see it. It's probably later in the run, but it's so rare because I never crack regular Geodes open. Oh man, that's tough. Habu crack the 10,000 point threshold unsurpassable Z at 5,300 right now. <laughs> Love it. Question 14. Point. How many types of slime eggs are there? Dude, Three you better, or five or six. you better not be trolling me right now. Wait, it's, oh my God. Is it five? I put four, but I, it's red, green, blue, tiger, purple. It's five. I'm an idiot, dude. I just hit that so fast, dude. Why? Green, blue, red, <sighs> Purple, I got five. I literally just can't count. I, I know all these questions, dude. I gotta slow down. I'm literally proving that I know this stuff and I'm just getting these questions wrong. Up five all got that one. <sighs> Man, all right, question 15, I'm moving on, I'm moving on. <laughs> all right, pay attention. From a new file, you want to transmute copper to iron, then iron to gold. How much copper ore do you need to collect? 20, 30, 40, or 50? I think this one is the most difficult question. Dude, I don't know. I put 30 because you have to do it twice and it's 15 both times, but I, oh, it's 25 both times. Dude, what is wrong with me? It takes three copper bars to transmute to iron, two iron bars to transmute to gold. That means to get one gold bar, you need six copper bars. To get Dude. one copper bar, you smelt five copper ore, so that's 30 copper ore, but you need an extra 20 pieces to make the furnace. From yeah, a new file, dude. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Yeah, that's a troll question, dude. I feel like, hey, if you got 50, you got lucky. I'm calling it right now. You don't know what you're talking about. Popig, <laughs> you right there. That was luck. Caught out all of the top five there. Yeah. That yeah, could have been a chance to in. catch up right there. I'm now in 107th place. My fall is great. Question 16, a few left. Without using the traveling cart, how many standard bundles can you complete in spring? 4, 10, 16, or 22. These are not remixed bundles. These are standard bundles. I put 10. I feel like you can get 10. <laughs> I, don't, it's, I think it's either 10 or 16. I don't even know how many bundles there are total. It's probably a uh, lot, though. It's probably a lot. You can get at least 10. So we've got Gosh, spring oh, hops, higher. spring forage, construction, exotic foraging, crab pot, animal, artisan, field researcher, all three in the boiler room, the enchanters, and all four in the vault. Yeah, I should have at least even... I, I should have at least even thought, like, four in the vault. Like, that's just... Four Four free ones right there. There's no way it's only six. Ah, oh, man. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Habu, screw you for knowing that. We're moving on. <laughs> Question 17. All right. What profession unlocks getting two of the same type of geode from one rock? Prospector, excavator, miner, or geologist? Uh, I think Prospector is too coal. I got that right, dude. Geologist, yeah. Nice. So Prospector's too coal. Excavator doubles the chance of doubles finding the a geode. Chance of finding a geode. Oh, Geologist dude. in game only mentions double gems, but it also applies to geodes. Ah, oh, dude, that's so wild. So cool. Unfortunately, a lot of other people also got that right. So I'm only a 93rd. Oh, we've got some new people up in that top five. Oh, nice. Elena, Brent, Giggity, welcome. That is pure evil. Pure evil blade. It's continue. You. <laughs> Question 18. Only three questions left. How many Quee gems does completing Quee's kindness give? I, I locked 10, that in right 20, away. 40 or 50. I just locked it in right away and I am not confident at all. I put 50. I think, isn't this one of the big ones for some reason? So Quee's kindness is give all the gifts to people, mm -hmm. all the loved gifts. I feel like this gives a lot for how easy it is. It's 40. Oh, dude. Jeez. I've only ever completed one Quee quest and that was on a multiplayer save with my wife last night. Oh, was it this and one? And I played a game. No. Oh. No, it was the Genoa Cat one. Oh my god, it's so close. Our top five is actually close right here. It's like one or two question game. I guess there's only two left though. So it's kind of down to Habu and Cord for that top spot right now. I'm in 111th if anyone's interested. Getting down to it. Getting down to it. I, I want to finish 11. top 100, dude. I got to get this right. Question 19. How many different hats can you buy from the Hat Mouse? Oh, dude, this 34, is such a brutal question. 40. 44 or 58? This is such a brutal question. I put 34. I think I've asked how many total hats are there. And for some reason, the number 34 feels familiar to me, but I don't know why. Well, finishing with a four is good. 
and starting with a three is good too. <laughs> oh, you troll. Nice. 34 it is. Yes, yeah, so that's all the achievement ones. There's a bunch for tailoring. I think there's like 50 something hats total. I don't even remember at this point. But final question if I get it wrong, I'll final probably question. fall out of the top 100. If I get it right, I'll probably be like top 30. For reference, I'm in 79th place right now with 7,000 points. All right, so Habu is almost double me right now. Number 20. Who sends you the autumn's bounty recipe? Demetrius, Linus, Leah, or Evelyn? Dude, I put Demetrius, but I have no idea. M does all the cooking and all of the friendship on our save. Dude, this could be bad for me. Imagine Habu going, not an NPC question. Yes, Demetrius. Demetrius. Oh my God. That just felt right to me. I don't know. I finished 55th, two points behind Dog Doo. How about that? Uh, let's see our top five though. Blade announced them for us on the podium. Top five. The podium at three, we have Brent. Woo! Done, Brent. At two, Giggity. <laughs> and at first, with archering 15 out of 20, Habu. <laughs> and Sil at fourth, and Elena at fifth. Very nice. Congratulations to everybody that partook. Uh, if you got more than 7,727 points, you beat me. And you can you have permission to call me a starting noob. If you got less than that, you have no more permission to do so. Oh, man. Wow, Cordite didn't even get in the top five. That's crazy. Oh, my oh, he gosh. Fell out. He fell out in the last question. He was in second going into that. NPC questions. Ah, uh, yeah. He said, I threw on purpose so that he didn't have to take any money from me. <laughs> right. Habu didn't get that memo, unfortunately. But yeah, dude. 75% of the questions here, though, for Habu and Brent. That's really impressive. Jeez. Blade, thanks for doing that, man. That was a ton of fun. I now feel the pain that my audience feels when I put them through these cahoots. Man, what a roller coaster of emotions. I love being on this side of it. Blade, thank you, man. And I enjoyed being on this side of it. That was cool. That was a lot of fun. Now, you are going to have a lot of enemies after this, unfortunately. You're going to have a lot of people that like you less as a result of this, but it's a sacrifice uh, I'm willing to make. <laughs> I, I saw people claiming beef with me in the chat before. Oh, my God. Everyone except Habu. You're on his good side still.